This video is to do with the Green Mech Quad Chip 160. We'd like you to get the best out of your machine, so we should be covering all aspects of the safe use and correct maintenance of it. Going from a sub 750 kilo class as a chipper, as a towed chipper, uh, right through to how to look after the blades and longer term maintenance. A very important aspect of any kind of machine installation is making sure that the operator's manual is present with the machine and that the people present have read it and understand it. One of the unique features about the quad chip is its positions on a turntable so that you can feed the machine off the side of the road whether it's against the traffic or with the traffic or at any angle in between. It's got seven locating pins each will lock it in the position where you can feed the wood chipper from. It's stable and solid and it will, you can still use the machine unhooked from a vehicle in any position. To locate the machine push down the locking bar with one hand and using the other hand gently rotate the machine round feeling for when the pin's going to drop in the next hole. Once you've done that locked it in the right position and you need to move it again again push down the locking handle turn the machine to the desired position and let the pin feed back into the hole. Before attaching your quad chip 160 to the towing vehicle always secure the transport lock situated at the front of the jaw bar underneath the infeed chute. To attach the wood chipper to the vehicle secure it with the jockey wheel watching the green indicator there the handles come down, the green indicator's up. Lift up the jockey wheel and secure it out of the way. Attach this brake safety cable. Turn off the brakes and secure the, the lighting. You're now ready to move off. The quad chip here today is in the transport position with the discharge chute folded. It can be transported in either the working or transport position if preferred. One of the safety switches on a quad chip is the discharge chute micro switch there. That prevents the engine from running with the chute in the park position that will not run without the, uh, the discharge chute sat down and clamped in position. To put the chute into the working position, make sure the clamping ring is loose, take out the arc bit and lift and swivel the chute so that the weight is holding it backwards and down and then attaches the uh, clamp it's also holding that micro switch down now then you can position the chute wherever you like to and use the toggles to clamp it in the desired direction